Okay, so, sorry guys, I was just playing a bit of a competitive Call of Duty here on my uh, Flip 3. Um, if you also want to be able to play on your front screen, then let's get into the video and see how it can be done. So basically a clever person found out they could replace one of the cover screen widgets here with their own sort of launcher. So they found a sort of glitch with the Samsung Health widget here, which could allow them to install their own widget on the cover screen and then obviously have a launcher and launch whatever game or app that you like. So basically what we need to do is actually remove this Samsung Health widget so that we can install the sort of, not hacked, but you know, the custom Samsung launcher widget and then that will allow us to launch any game or app from our cover screen. So to do that, what we need to do first is remove or uninstall Samsung Health. So just find it in your apps and press and hold on it and just press uninstall. Now obviously if you do use Samsung Health, make sure that you do actually back up your data or your steps first before you do this because you will lose anything that hasn't synced. So once that's uninstalled, we now also need to remove the lock screen. So go into your settings, go into lock screen, and make sure the screen lock type is set to none. If that isn't set, then this won't work. It does require that no password or phrase or any pin or anything, fingerprint even, is used, it has to be set to none currently. So now once you've done that, you click on the link that I've linked down below in the description and it sends you to the Samsung Launcher GitHub page. Now when you get to this page, it looks a bit blank, but basically if you click on the assets here to expand it, you'll see here the Samsung signed APK here, which we're gonna download. Click on download. Once it's finished, open the file. And it will ask you if you want to install the application, just click install. Once it's installed, click on open. And you can see here the Samsung launcher sort of setup screen here. So you can actually enable and disable apps that appear in the launcher. I'm just gonna leave them all enabled because why not? You can also set the type of view that you want. So you can either have a list view where you have a sort of long list like this, or you can have the grid view which I prefer personally because you can actually see more apps on the screen at any one time. There's a button here to save the logcat if you want to send a log file to the developer. That will simply uh, allow you to check for any errors of what's happened here. You can also launch into the system settings app. And this is basically just a quick jump to set the cover screen widget. So we need to actually enable that widget now on the cover screen. So click on cover screen, click on widgets, and you'll see here you now have the Samsung Launcher instead of Samsung Health. So we're gonna enable that one, and then we're gonna turn off the other two just because it saves a bit of swiping on the home screen. So we've now got the Samsung Launcher widget enabled. So now if we go back home and just close the phone, double tap to wake it up, scroll to the right, and this is what happens when you first install it. You get a blank screen, so there's nothing actually appearing yet. So what you need to do is actually restart your phone. Just hold down the power button and restart it. Okay, so once your phone is restarted, just allow it some time to finish booting everything up because uh, obviously things are loading in the background whilst this is happening. We're just gonna close the flip back down now. You can see that the always on display is started. So let's wake it up. And here is our Samsung launcher now. So we can see all of our apps here, which are listed. Like I said, you can just disable apps that you don't want to actually appear in here if you want. And you can now launch any app that you want to. So let's go back into Call of Duty just for an example. So if you've ever wondered what Call of Duty Mobile would look like on a 260 by 512 pixel 1.9 inch screen, then this is it. It's actually uh, very responsive. Now, I'd suggest if you're playing anything of this sort of game, you enable auto fire because that will help you uh, not have to worry about anything other than moving and aiming. Okay, so once you've finished playing your game, you can either just open the flip back up or you just press the power button like that 
double tap to wake up and you go back into the launcher here. So the other application I can imagine you wanting to use your cover screen for is maybe just having a video playing in the background whilst you're doing something else. So you can see here I've just loaded up into Twitch and I could just, you know, put my phone down somewhere and carry on the stream without leaving my phone flipped open. So it's interesting. I can imagine other things such as people who follow stocks or anything where you need a sort of constant live feed of information it could be quite useful. Let's come out of this now. So again, press the power button and then just double tap to wake up the screen again. Let's go into Google Maps. So maybe you've got a route set up and you're walking around somewhere and you just want the directions to appear on the small screen here, for example, and that could be another use for this. I mean, it's just a bit of fun really, isn't it? It's, uh, don't think it's gonna be uh, taken too seriously at the moment, but possibly with future updates, they can improve the way it works, maybe have a widget just dedicated to a certain app so you don't have to worry about finding it and loading up, that'd be quite nice. But yeah, this is in the early stages yet, so it still is quite uh, quite basic at the moment. So that was the Samsung Launcher widget for the Galaxy Z Flip 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do click the like button and subscribe if you did, that really helps out. And if you have any questions or comments at all regarding this, then do leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget, when you do first install the widget after rebooting your phone, give your phone a good 30 to 60 seconds to start up, load all the services in the background, and then you shouldn't have any problems at all. I've got some other Galaxy Z Flip 3 videos in the description and in the top right of the screen. If you want to check those out, please do. You can also click on the join button and that really helps out the channel. And again, thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video.